All right. So this is uh, gun game. Um, time gameplay? No. Yes. Some of them. I'm actually gonna put this up. Alright, so this is Gun Game uh, with Cold War weapons. Now, you can probably see I'm not on a normal map. This is Terminal, obviously. Um, somehow this didn't crash my game, so I'm going to take advantage of that, I guess. I think it's because it doesn't have custom weapons. The map itself doesn't have custom weapons, so... Uh, you always win, I guess, is who made this, so go shout out to him, I guess. Alright, so, starting with the Tech 9. Um, I bet I gotta use this good lighting for, oh, I just domed him and I didn't even mean to. Alright, need to use this good lighting for a thumbnail. I don't know if I can use this, though. I think it's so cool that how people bring in, like, weapons from from other games there's a soul box so that's i'm not trying any easter eggs or anything no. i guess that means i can't i'm not trying any easter eggs or anything so what is this is this a nail gun oh, come on. i just like, pack a punched it the home depot oh another soul box i don't think i'll be i, I might play this i i I'll come back to this map at some point, and I'll actually try whatever easter egg or whatever is in here. And let's see. I'm almost dead. Oh my god. Sprinting? I might come back to this map at some point and try the actual, like, easter egg. If it has an easter egg, try the easter egg. It might not even have an easter egg. I don't know, like... I, I don't know. My, my monitor obviously isn't displaying 200 FPS, but that's good to know. Alright, so we got some Magnum action. I've never... I, I'm gonna... This is... This is... Surprising, but like, I've actually never played Cold War. I just was not interested in Cold War. Yet. Another pack of... Zombie cash! What a pack of punch, dumbass. It was a zombie cash. But, got off that weapon. Now we're on the 1911. I really don't want to get like zombie caches because I want to show the weapons even though everybody has already seen this mod but you haven't seen it on why are they running so fast already what the hell 1911 is a beast <laughs> oh okay all right so they're shootables in this map I'll take note of that Itachi got big Jesus Christ Diamati. I'm guessing this is the like the wrath of the 93R or something like that. This is what like I I've like played Modern Warfare 3. Jesus. I played Modern Warfare 3 a lot when it came out. Like I don't really know why. But um I noticed that that three round burst pistol like what I was just using in Modern Warfare 3 is sweat. I mean, oh my god. People sliding around corners and shit with that thing. Whatever. It's so cool to be playing zombies on terminal though. Where is the next one? So there's 47 guns left, so that means there's about 51 guns. I don't remember. I didn't I don't remember seeing how many there were at the start. I did just notice I have no jug and no quick revive, and I suck ass at zombies, so I need to go and change that real quick. So, like I said, I never really, I never really, I actually have never played Cold War Zombies, but uh, from what I watched and hear people say, is the Howard 77 was like the meta gun in that game. Pretty good here. What? Why didn't. Why am I being chased by super sprinters? Look at that. So obviously this is the mod 
the Cold War weapon mod. The guy that created this has like mods for every, or weapon ports for every Call of Duty. And I'll be doing a video on every single one. They're awesome. I love, like when I watched Custom Zombies back in the World at War days, like that's the only thing I wanted to watch is custom weapons. Because seeing custom weapons and stuff in, in a game that usually doesn't have it, it's so cool. I'll skip the depth machine because it's not, it's not part of the video, but what is this? Oh, like the 410 Ironhide. I'm pretty sure the, like the executioner is based off like the, the judge, the Taurus judge or whatever in real life. And it shoots a 410, which is weak as hell. So this is the Marshall. I've also seen a lot about this. I think back in Cold War days, like, this thing was apparently really good or something. But again, I don't know. <clears throat> My voice is so messed up. I don't know because I never played Cold at War. <laughs> Cold at War, yeah. Whatever. Whatever it's called, I don't care. Oh! So the Striker. Jesus, there's like no fire rate cap on this thing. Alright, so we bought the drugs, another soul box. I'm gonna take note of all these like soul boxes and shit, because I do wanna wanna replay this map at some point in time. Alright. I mean these zombies are like so aggressive already, and I'm kind of worried because like I said, I'm I, I'm at I really I'm not good, but I love playing it. I love World of War Zombies, I love World of War Custom Zombies, it was great. And uh, I actually didn't know there was Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies. I, I did just die, I killed myself, what a dumbass. Yeah, like I said, I didn't know Black Ops 3 had Custom Zombies until like 2018, 2020. Because I just stopped watching it, free perk, I'll take it, jug. And uh, when I found out, I started watching Custom Zombies again. But uh, I used to, I used to watch so much World at War Custom Zombies. I was so cool. And I always wanted to play World at War Custom Zombies. And then I found out Black Ops 3 had Custom Zombies, and I was like, oh yeah. So I got a PC like five years later. Finally. World at War is probably. I don't know why I'm just in this little. What is it? What is? What is this? Oh, it's that little hourglass thing. These are some cool ass zombie models, though. I will say, like, oh, like little Buzz Light years or something. That's so cool. Look at that. Hey, there's Pack a Punch. This door is open magically, so I'm guessing that's the shootables or the. Uh, Soul boxes. It's one of the two. And I'm not I can't even pack a punch in this game, so or this game crap rather. So I'm not gonna worry about that. I don't care about that. But the stage four I forgot that this is Cold War. It's a weird thing having Cold War though, like Cold War was set in like the late eighties. I mean whatever. I mean MW nineteen had the car twenty eight K. Whatever. I honestly think there should be a Call of Duty that encompasses like every single like era of weapon and like there just needs to be like the all in one. That's what they need to do next. And they just need to constantly update it. Like never create a new game. Just constantly update it. It's like all encompassing, all included Call of Duty that has like you know, all weapons from all eras and all that shit, but oh my god, how big of a game would that be? You may not leave until you finish collecting my souls. Well, I'm not leaving because I'm not collecting souls, so whatever. Keep forgetting you can't knife or just knock on it. There's a shootable. There's another soul box. This map looks like it'll be pretty easy when you try to complete the Easter egg. I mean, everything looks like it. It's pretty easy to find. I wish you could go outside. 
So we get the bull bomb. This is like the PP night. MP5K, didn't I just have MP5? The MP5K and MP5 are different. I mean, not the exact same gun, it's just one smaller than the other. I'm gonna mess around and get demoted! Oh my god. I might as well just mess around and go boxes because like what else am I supposed to do I can't do anything else in this game and the PSH 40 just without the 70 round drum magazine I don't really know that adding weapons I, have. I mean that's kind of rude sounding I shouldn't say that whatever I mean, use this gun it's already over doesn't matter. I guess I'll pick up this. Yeah, I don't know any of these guns. Like, I think guns from the uh, Cold War era are great, but I just was never interested in Cold War. A shootable. So did I fill up this soul box or not? No. Did it give me a reward? I don't remember. Whatever. It didn't uh, impact my game. I mean the MC. I'm stuck. You are. What is this ADS? Like, what was I just? I'm stuck. What was I just looking at? Let me grab this. Oh, I don't get to see that terrible ADS again. I'm kind of sad about that, but not really. That was... Alright, so we got the Swiss K31. This is obviously from World War II, but that's alright. Oh, this is terrible. I mean, it's strong, but other than that... This gun was actually probably good for no reason in Cold War. I don't know, but it might have been. This looks like a gun that Call of Duty would just make the meta for no reason. That's another game mode that I've never played is Warzone. I think Warzone is stupid. I hate Battle Royale. It's just, I hate Battle Royale so bad. It's so stupid. Sorry to offend any... I'm gonna die. Any battle royale fans, if there are, I'm stuck again. The dude needs to remove some of this useless shit in the middle of the way. Like, that's annoying. Say, I say that. This map was probably created like 10 years ago. Which would be before Black Ops 3 even came out. But you, you get the point. Nice lighting. A death. I didn't really want to. Do Death machine because that's not part of the weapon list, but that gun was ass, so the Fara 83. What is this? Like a Galil knockoff or something? 8 C58. This is a G3. Oh, I got that per power up again. Yeah, this is definitely like a first pattern G3. I'm pretty sure it's just a first pattern G3. Whatever, don't care. Sounds pretty cool. I wouldn't mind some speed cola, to be honest with you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get demoted. I'm demoted. No, I'm not. I'm good. Whatever. AK 74U. I'm de I'm, de I'm demoted. Take the free perk though. That's nice. Nice. So there's a soul box back here too. Oh, I already have jug. Whatever. 
I might just camp here. Is that boring? Got it. Definitely not a good idea. Got like the Remington 700 or the M M43 or whatever it's called. Pellington 703. Oh my god, this is turned on this. This is obviously an M48 3 or R700. Which the M48 3 was a, a, just a, a tactical version of the R700, anyways. Is this going to be Cold War? Probably. Call of Duty makes every sniper overpowered. Alright, so we got some XM4 action. Right. So cash. This is about to be a commando from Black Ops 1. spot to train is there i guess in this area is the best but i really wanted to mess with those boxes all right i'll try to fill up the soul box too well there's a soul box in here too right Okay, that's a soul box. What is this? The Galat. This is obviously a Oh, there's a box over here. Yeah, this is just a Galil. It says full auto rifle. Cal 556 model something made in Israel. Yeah, this is a Galil. Galil's an Israeli guy. I don't know what the point of this gun is though. Like, why wouldn't you just use it? I mean, it's obviously the same caliber as Galil, so like, this shouldn't have any more power. HK-21 The same gun, like same action, same everything Just like upscaled or downscaled, like MP5, G3, uh, HK-21, HK whatever They're like all the same gun, usually like some kind of 86 knockoff What is this? ZRG 20 million. But uh. It has three bullets. Three bullets. What the hell? Three bullets? Who would use that? Shoot three times and reload? I'll take that. That gun's boring. I'm sorry. That gun's so boring. I can't sit there and get three thousand. I'm sure the pack a punch name would be terrible. I don't know what that means. I'm not even gonna try to say it. The Carve Two. I mean, I would say this is some kind of like G3 knockoff, but it is absolutely not anything like a G3. Only 14 guns left, so really in the home stretch now. This thing sounds cool as hell. I was gonna do a video of kid get, getting a kill on round 50 with like, like M14 from every COD. In zombies, but uh, I don't want to. Type 60. Some 
some kind of SKS Chinese knockoff, probably. Or maybe it's just a Call of Duty name for the SKS. Mule Kick, that is the best perk in Call of Duty history. To be honest with you, Mule Kick is underrated. It only... a three round burst? Okay. The only reason people don't like Mule Kick is because you have a four port, four, four port, four port, yeah, whatever, four perk limit. But honestly, if you just look at a, should I take that? Absolutely. Zombie cash. Mule Kick is basically just extra ammo. Like, a Krig 6. Pretty good. I don't know really what this gun is. It really looks like the the type the type 83. I'm down. I got out of it. Promoted. Some kind of M82. Yeah, it's a barrier. Oh my god, this thing sounds like a beast too. Obviously it shoots an anti-material round, but... What? Where am I missing? My god, whatever. It's one of those things where like, there's like a delay from when you scope in to like when you fire. Like you can't quick scope because like it still says that you're hit firing. Like that. Take that double points. There we go. Oh, I'm almost demoted. That's terrible. Alright. AK 47. So this is obvious. I don't know what the hell the grab is, but. 60. I love the M60. I guess. I don't understand how they can use AK-47, RPK, and M60, but they can't use Galil or other weapons. That's gonna help. I shouldn't have done that. That's just gonna slow things down. RPK is the AK-47 with a longer. Like that is. It's like 75 round or round or larger magazine. The Stoner 63. Okay, that was. I don't know how they didn't do any copyright business. Also, the actual name. Of the I'm pretty sure. I was at these cars. Free part. Electric Cherry. I hate Electric Cherry. Whatever. I don't care. Og Habar. I feel like H bar stands for heavy barrel assault. When you think of LMG, the only thing that changes from an bullet size, but most of the time not, and a heavy barrel magazine capacity so you can shoot longer. Oh, wait, I don't want that. The RPD. Oh, that was it. I won. So there was no wonder weapon. That's interesting, but whatever. Not complaining. I like the guns in Cold War. I never played Cold War, but the guns were satisfying. Whatever. 784 kills. That was every gun in Cold War. See you.